one thing left in this basic .html file and that is adding the header. So I'm going to remove this heading from here and now let's start with the comment. So for adding the header, adding the header tag and this header tag will have one div with the class of container and it will occupy the whole 12 columns. So adding the row. So for now, let's add the h1 tag here, basic. So if I refresh my page, you can see basic is starting from here. And if I inspect my page, inspect this one, this one is the h1 heading. This is our whole row. So this is our complete header. This is our row and our row is inside the container. That's why this basic is starting from here. So if I remove this container class from here, save my page. You can see this basic is now starting at extreme left. So that's why it's better to have a container class. So refreshing my page, inspecting again, you can see that this one is occupying the whole row. So let's this time if we delete this class of row and refresh my page, inspecting the page, you can see H1 is occupying the whole area, not any div. So this is our container starting from here. This is our H1. That's why we add container and row. Now let's give it some background. So adding the class of BG dash dark and its text to be white. Freshing my page looking great but let's add one br tag so that we can simply separate our header and footer for now so if i refresh my page now it's better so this header is quite tiny you can add a padding on x-axis or y-axis so in bootstrap if you want to add the padding on y-axis you can mention bootstrap class of p that will represent padding so if you want to add the padding on y-axis you can have py if you want to add the padding on x-axis you can have px px means add the padding on both sides on right side and left side and py means add the padding on y-axis both on top and also on the bottom. If you want to add the padding on top, you will have PT. If you want to add the padding just on bottom, you will have PB. Let me show you how it's gonna actually look like. So I will start with PY. So PY-3. So if I save this one and refresh my page, you can see it has added padding on top and also on the bottom so if you want to have a larger padding you can have py-4 so it will add padding both on the top and also on the bottom see if i go for py-5 see so we have padding for py-5 so if you just want to add the padding on the top so pt-5 so it will add the padding just on the top Similarly, you can go with PB that will add the padding on bottom, only bottom, like this. So, if you want to go with the x axis, you can have PX. If you want to add the padding on the right side, PR. On the left side, PL. So, here I'm gonna go with PY, add the padding on both top and bottom, means on y axis, and give it padding of py-3 refreshing my page it looks perfect now we occupy our container first let me show you 
by inspecting this page real quick. So this was our header, this is our heading, this is our row and out of this row, this row has 12 bootstrap column. For occupying all these 12 columns, we can go with just call or we can go with other way like call-lg-12 for larger screen, call-md-12 for medium size screen, call-sm-12 for smaller screens. So right here inside this row, I'm gonna add div with the class of call-md-12 and I'm gonna wrap up my heading with this div. Now last thing, I will add one font awesome icon before this h1. So back to my editor. So right here, if you want to have a larger font awesome before your text, just mention inside the h1 tag. So I have this font awesome text dash height. So if I save this one and refresh my page, you can see this font awesome text height. You can also change the color of your font awesome. So you can apply text dash success or text dash danger class on your font awesome or you can add the custom style or custom color. So for example, if you want to have some, if you want to add some random color, so you can add it by applying the style and then you can go for color property and then you can mention your color. So if I refresh my page now, see, now we change our color. So instead of this, you can mention here yellow color. So it will add the color to your icon like this. So as we are following this sky blue color, so I will go with this sky blue. So this is it for our basic website structure. This will be our header. This will be our navigation throughout the project and this will be the footer. Now in the next movie, we will work on our actual core of this course that is creating dynamic pages by using PHP. So first of all, we will work on our categories page.